Welcome everybody. Today I'm taking a look at Advanced Custom Fields, which is a very popular plugin for child theme development, um, so that you could add extra features to your WordPress blog and um, make it easier for people to use. So in this example, I created a Advanced Custom Field and I labeled it the name Flex Video. And right now I've got no video selected, so I have a very boring blog post with one line of text. But if I go over to self-hosted and hit update, and hit view post, you can see my self-hosted video pops up. Or, even better, the YouTube version of the video. Pretty cool. It's just simply a radio button. So how did I accomplish this? Well, once you install the plugin Advanced Custom Fields, let me show you guys how to find it. It's the one by Elliot Condon. Whoops. And uh, you can actually add it. Very easy to find. Just search for it right there. So once you have it going, you can generate your own custom fields. So that's the flex video you saw in the previous uh, post. And what I'm doing here is basically setting up some rules for my dashboard to use and to generate information around it. So under video type, it gives me a little name and I'm telling it that I want it to generate a radio button. That radio button has none self-hosted in YouTube as the options. And then over here, I go and I say, oh, I want to use text for my, my selection option for YouTube, or I want to use file for my selection option for self-hosted video. So then you end up with this really cool... Um, little widget for your for your dashboard and I have it set so that templates will um, both uh, my default template and my default posts will give this as an option since most of my blog posts will have a video in them now the tricky part is actually getting it to work with your template so what I did is I created a uh, include file or a PHP include or a get template part include for WordPress, where I based some of this code, and there's a documentation on the uh, advanced custom field website. But basically, I just have three uh, variables that I'm creating. There is an if statement, if self-hosted, wrap this HTML around the unique information about the video, and else if if it's YouTube, then just basically generate the uh, embed code around my YouTube file. So this variable is what I put in the dashboard to generate within the code later on. So to give you guys an example, YouTube's easier to view, so we'll use that one. Once I have it saved, we look at the source code. And you'll see that the uh, ID tag that I placed in the dashboard, in the fl uh, flexible video option, is right there. It just grabs that information right there. Super easy. And it does take a lot of getting used to uh, learning the, uh, the scripting language. Advanced Custom Fields has uh, some amazing documentation and um, there's actually a couple videos on using this plugin on lynda.com. So if you have a lynda.com account, you can check that out too. But eventually, but, but they show you the basic ideas on how to get it to show up on your theme, and, and that's it. Anyway, thanks for watching, everyone, and uh, take it easy.